Hi there, my name is Alejandro and today I'm here at the Theodore Payne Foundation Demonstration Gardens joined by a beloved narrowleaf milkweed plant or the scientific name Asclepias fascicularis. Now summertime is actually a great time for this plant because it's in bloom, it's full of different insects which are beneficial to the environment and not only that, our milkweed plant is actually the host plant that will provide a food source for the beloved monarch caterpillars which one is gracing us today on this beautiful narrowleaf milkweed leaf. Contrary to what people think, this is actually a plant that can be planted anytime from spring into summer. Anytime from March to July is a great time to put plants in the ground and actually a really good time to start narrow leaf milkweed from seed. Today's video will be showing you how easy it is to start narrow leaf milkweed in small flats, in the ground, or in small pots, as well as planting a four inch plant in the ground. And soon you can also have monarch butterfly habitat in your very own garden. The first thing you're going to need is any small plug flat. You can start from any plug flat. This is a biodegradable one we saw in our Monarch Sanctuary starter kit. Or you can start with any plastic 72 plug flat or even a small four inch container that has good drainage. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is you wanna fill the plug flat with a seed starting medium. The one we recommend here is any soil that has added perlite, anything that's gonna improve the drainage of your soil. In fact, we even recommend TPF's custom potting mix that we recommend folks use for, you know, potting up native plants. It's also a really good seed mix um, or soil mix to start seed in general, including our native milkweed seed. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your seed starting medium. You're going to fill up your plug flats and then with any spritz bottle or spray bottle, you're going to go ahead and water the surface just so that when we go ahead and sow our milkweed seed, we're sowing it into a pre-soakened uh, surface or medium so that it adheres better and doesn't wash out in any further waterings we do later. So this is something you can do with any spray bottle. So you're gonna make sure that the water soaks in a little bit. And next, we're gonna take our native milkweed seed. So the seed I'm working with today is Asclepias fascicularis, which is our narrow leaf milkweed, which is in fact one of our local milkweeds that helps support monarch populations here in SoCal. And in fact, the easiest to start from seed. All of the seedlings you see here off to my right are actually seedlings of narrow leaf milkweed that you can go ahead and start from little flats and then you can transplant them as the seeds get larger or your seedlings get larger. So what we recommend doing before working with your seed, you're going to take your finger and we recommend creating holes that are about half an inch deep. So you can do this with the tip of your finger if you wanted to use um, some kind of gardening stick just to help you create these holes. But the idea is that you want to sow your milkweed seed about half an inch deep. No deeper than that because then that may inhi uh, inhibit germination. So it's best that the seeds have most, the most contact they can with sun and the elements. So I'm going to go ahead, make a uh, half an inch deep hole in each plug. Once you have those holes created, you're going to go ahead and work with your seed. Again, the seed I'm working with today is Asclepias fascicularis, our narrow leaf milkweed. So what we recommend here at Theodore Payne is sowing about two to four, or you can even do between three to five seeds for every plug. So you'll just take some seeds, sprinkle some in, and then that first plug, that's about four that fell in that first hole. And then you're gonna go from plug to plug, just sowing some seed. If you get a little bit more, a little bit less, that's fine. You just wanna ensure that you have a good amount of seed in each plug to ensure germination. And a common question we get about this practice here is how do I know if um, I'm sowing too much seed, right? What if all the seed germinates? One thing we have found about milkweed seedlings is that they don't mind growing in pairs or in groups of three. So you have two choices. You can either just let them be, let them grow together, and they're pretty happy like that. Or you can go ahead and thin out the seedlings and transplant them later. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and pinch the hole over the seed, just lightly or barely covering the seed. So I'm just going to take our seed starting medium here and just pinching those holes together so that your seed is just underneath the surface. We're not sowing the seed too deeply because then that's going to affect our germination results. And we want the seed to be so near the surface so that it has contact with the sun, that it has contact with the oxygen, the air. So what you can see here is that none of the seed is exposed. It's just barely underneath the surface. And that way it's going to have good contact with the sun and we're going to get good germination results. The next thing you want to do, since we did pre-soak the medium, that's going to almost 
ensure good pockets that are, that are going to hold the seed. And the next thing you want to do is just go over with a spritz bottle and spray those seedlings. Now, since these seeds are so near the surface, they are going to have lots of contact with the sun. So there is the possibility that they can dry out. So you will find yourself watering these seedlings every other day or every two to three days just to consistently keep the surface moist. Once the seeds germinate, those roots will actually start to grow into the sides of the plug and more and more they're going to need more water as the roots develop. But for the time being, you just want to aim to keep the first inch or two of seed starting medium moist at all times. So for germination, in our experience here with sowing our narrow leaf milkweed, you get germination as fast as one week and it can last through the whole first month. You get these seedlings always coming up. And if the seedlings are really happy, you can see that in some plugs here, for example, you have two, three seedlings germinating per plug. We have found that milkweed does not mind growing, you know, in pairs of two, four, or even groups of three. It's, it's really happy when it's planted together. But these are healthy milkweed plants and they're gonna grow up to be a great habitat for your monarch butterfly. So we'll be planting a milkweed plant and I'm gonna show you how easy it is. One of the first things you wanna look for in a plant is to, you wanna see that it has good top growth. And in addition, you can also pop out the root ball of the plant and just make sure that there's good roots on the plant here. So you can see that there's roots all around the soil here, meaning that this will be a successful milkweed plant that we can use to augment our existing milkweed patch here. First thing you wanna do, you wanna make sure that the soil that you're planting or putting the plant in is free of any mulch. So you can see here in our gardens, we have a, a pretty uh, thick layer of mulch that we can just scrape away just to expose some soil that we can dig the hole in. And you can also see here, I've chosen a spot that's pretty full sun, which is what milkweed really likes. So next, we're gonna take our shovel. You can also do this with any small gardening trowel or hori hori, and it'll work just as fine. We're gonna start to excavate the hole. If you have sandy soil, it's a pretty easy task. If you have clay, you might have to break up the clay layer just a little bit. So with a four inch plant, you want to make sure that the dimensions of the hole is about double the size of the root ball. So if I were to place the plant in here, you can see that it just a, sits a little bit lower below the soil here and that's all we don't want. We want the crown or this stem of the plant to sit above grade just a little bit. So what I'm going to have to do here is backfill the hole just a little bit. Maybe I can backfill just a little bit more. You can see it's sitting slightly above grade of the soil here. And then what you can do is you can rough up the root ball just a little bit to make sure that those roots will actually start to grow into the existing native soil. All right, so we're gonna put our plant in. Let me take a little bit more out. Looks like it's happy there. And now we're gonna to start to backfill with our native soil. So you wanna make sure that you're packing in the soil, but not compacting it. So just enough to get rid of any air bubbles or any air pockets. All right, so we're gonna take the soil, putting it back in. Moving some more of the soil in there. And then we don't want to cover the crown too much. And you can see that it's sitting slightly above grade of the soil or slightly above the surface. That way it's not inundated with water. All right, I would say that that's a, a perfectly happy milkweed plant, nice and situated. Next, taking any watering can or a hose with a wand attachment, you're just gonna water this plant. And so for a four inch plant, you're gonna aim to maybe put about two to three gallons of water, more or less, and that's gonna depend on the size of the root ball. So you can see with a four inch plant, we have a smaller root ball, so it won't require as much water as if you had planted milkweed from a one gallon size. So we start watering the plant, and here at the foundation, we have sandy soil. So what you'll see is that this water percolates pretty rapidly, pretty quickly. It might take a moment, but within a couple minutes, you'll see that this water will start to drain. 
as soon as it's drained, you can start to put mulch around the plant and you can see it's draining pretty fast, right? It's percolating really fast. After this water has completely percolated down, what you'll do, and you'll obviously water a bit more, right? It, what you'll find that happens sometimes is that you'll water in pulses just to not overwater the plant or wash out any, you know, any of the roots or expose any of the roots. So after that water has gone in, you can go ahead, water it a little bit more. You'll probably water it a little bit less if the soil that you're planting in is already moist. So we'll just let this water seep into the soil here. And again, you can see that it's draining pretty fast. We have sandy fast draining soil. So that coarse soil is really gonna allow the water just to wash in, drain really fast. So after the water has fully drained, you can see that it's percolated down. We can start to move our mulch near the plant. But keep in mind, you don't want to mulch near the crown of the plant. You do want to leave some soil exposed just to allow the plant to aerate. So this would be a good cap of mulch. Again, I'm going to move some mulch away from the base just to allow it to breathe. I would say that that's a good layer of mulch. And at this time, if you wanted to add more water around the plant, please, you can also do that. Because milkweed, you'll find that this is a warm season grower and actually appreciates a little bit of water during its growth months. Alrighty, there you have it folks. So in today's video, we've shown you how easy it is to sow milkweed from seed in plug flats or in small four inch pots. And in addition, if you have the plant, how easy it is to plant the plant in the ground. This, like we said, this is the perfect time of year. It's a warm season grower. So it'll grow throughout the warm summer months, put on some flowers, set seed, but most importantly, attract monarchs to your garden. If you're interested in more information, we definitely encourage you to check out some of the resources in the description below. Thank you.